मार्केटिंग मिक्स प्रोडक्ट फ्रेजी आई जी सी एस ई आई जी सी एस ई बिजनेस स्टडीज जीरो फोर फाइव जीरो हेलो एवरी वन इफ यूर न्यू टू दिस चैनल हाई दिस इज फ्रेजी आई जी सी एस ई वेर यू कैन स्टडी सेवन आई जी सी एस ई सब्जेक्ट्स विच इंक्लूड बिजनेस इकनॉमिक्स अकाउंट्स साइंस विच इंक्लूड बायोलॉजी एंड फिजिक्स ओनली मैथ्स एंड इंग्लिश also some tips and solved fast papers so here is our gcse at your fingertips please do subscribe and like now before we start the video i would like you all to know that i am trying to make this video very interesting and appealing for you all to understand and grasp the knowledge easier on request from my viewers so this is the syllabus content we're going to look at the costs and benefits of developing new products brand image the role of packaging and product life cycle now product there are four types of products consumer goods consumer services product goods and product services we are going to look at each of them first is consumer goods these are goods which are consumed by us so these include the daily products like soap oil clothes mobile laptop these are all used by us and that's why they're known as consumer goods then consumer services are services which are consumed by people like doctoring when you go to a doctor you are making use of a service also banking and insurance are other examples of consumer services producer good this is the goods produced for other businesses like machines machines are goods which are produced to produce other products a machine will produce many other products even though the machine itself is a product so this product is known as a producer good then producer services these are services for other businesses like corporate lawyer or a business consultant these are services which are provided to other businesses Now, what makes a product successful? An example of a successful product is Apple. Apple is a very renowned brand, and they are renowned because they have a unique selling point in each of their devices, which makes it stand out from their competitors. So, first point is that the product needs to have a unique selling point, a unique feature which differentiates it from its competitors' products. it's supposed to satisfy the consumer needs and wants which means it needs to have all the features the consumer wants to wants the product to have also there it should have a low production cost in order for the business to make a profit the quality of the product that should be kept consistent with the product image and it should be introduced to the market before the competitors because if they are introduced in the market before the competitors they'll have a greater brand image Now here are two quiz questions for you all to solve. Why does a business create a unique selling point for a product? Second question is which of the following describes the physical product that can be touched? You have 5 seconds to answer this. Answer for the first question is why does a business create a unique selling point for a product? the answer is to gain a competitive advantage because it needs to stand out and gain higher sales than a competitor which of the following describes the physical products that can be touched the answer is goods now let's look at what brand image means brand name is a unique name of a product that makes it different from other brands now for example iphone and nokia iPhone has better features than a Nokia phone would have. That's why if you are in a situation where you are supposed to choose between an iPhone or a Nokia, what would you choose? The benefits of branding. Now, branding has many benefits like advertising makes the consumer aware of the quality of the product. This will persuade them into buying the product and will help the business gain sales and earn profit brand loyalty 
when customers con continue buying from the same brand instead of the competitors it is known as brand loyalty for example i go to nesto and i don't really go to lulu because they provide a card point system where the user is going to get uh, is going to benefit from point system when they spend a certain amount rules of packaging number 1 is protection the packaging needs to be done in a manner where it protects the product it is easy for transportation and it won't damage the product also it should allow the product to be used easily and it needs to be suitable second point is it needs to promote the product so it should be attractive and appealing to the customers and it should be consistent with the brand image of the product for example baskin robbins it is a well known brand but compared to godiva which is more expensive and has a an appealing packaging it is a little lesser than godiva now we're going to look at the product life cycle stage 1 is development so development is when the product is being developed the business is still spending the money on the research and development and there are no sales at this point which means this product has not been launched into the market yet and it still needs uh, development stage 2 is introduction introduction is when the product is introduced into the market which means it is just launched into the market and sales are starting to grow informative advertising is being used to make consumers aware of the product so as we had learned in our previous video of advertising which was basically the promotion techniques informative advertising will be used so that the consumers ad, um informed about the product stage 3 is growth growth is when the sales are growing rapidly and persuasive advertising is used which means the consumers are being persuaded to buy the product based on its features the prices are being reduced because the competitors are also introducing their product into the market and the profits are now being made as the development costs have been covered then a stage 4 which is maturity maturity is when the sales of the product increases slowly and there is intense competition pricing strategies such as competitive or promotional pricing are being used to compete with the competitors stage 5 is saturation saturation is when the sales have reached its highest point and the growth has stopped now competitive pricing is used during the saturation stage stage 6 is decline decline is when the sales of the product has started to fall and eventually the product will be taken out of the market now there are many steps to avoid the decline stage in the product life cycle that is known as the extension of the product life cycle Now how do you extend the product life cycle there are various methods first is introduce new variations of the original product which means on the original product you introduce more features which appeal which are appealing and which are going to attract the customers then sell the product into new markets like distribute them to other countries or you can increase and create new advertising campaigns another choice to do is lower lowering the price lowering the price will encourage the consumers to buy the product also you need to make changes to the product like bring up new packaging to the product here is an other quiz question what is the main business use of an extension strategy strategy you have 5 seconds to answer this so the answer for this question is to increase the sales of a product because if there is an extension strategy then the sales of the product will increase and the product life cycle will not go into the decline stage 
so this is my website crazy itcse website where i'll be uploading free this guys i also wanted to let you know that i am providing links in my description box below to some amazon products which you can buy the first one is a 2020 apple ipad which is of 8th generation 10.2 inch 32 gb space gray and you can get that from my description below from the link in the description below also you can get kindle and you can buy the biology course book also there is a business education hoarder education course book linked below moreover i have added a free six month free trial of amazon prime so you can check that out as well it will be also mentioned in my website which is also again linked in the description box below do go and check it out and if you buy these products through my links it's going to help me a great amount and that way i will be able to make better videos for you guys and provide more quality educational videos thank you